Welcome to Man by Choice, Male by Birth, the book. Man by Choice, Male by Birth started as an academic pursuit. I was encouraged by my friends at the Board of Education to write a curriculum for our pre-adolescent and adolescent males. I was asked to do that because there is a major void in our academic system to teach our young males how to become men. Conversely, our young females have many programs in place, including home economics, interpretive dance, sewing, and etc. Well, as I completed my academic pursuit, I got an epiphany from an even higher authority. That was to make the book about men. And as I received my instructions, I had five questions given to me that really address the bedrock core issues of manhood. Five questions. One, what is a man? Two, at what point did you realize that you made the transition from boyhood to manhood? Question three, which was by far the toughest question because it required full frontal psychological nudity. That question, to date, what has been your greatest failure as a man? Number four, to date, what has been your greatest success as a man? And number five, before you leave this plane of existence, what's the one thing you want to accomplish? In my pursuit to find men to interview for the book, I was able to locate a former professional boxer, former professional bowler, an entrepreneur, martial arts school owner, Desert Shield, Desert Storm combat veteran, R&B promoter, Jewish rabbi, Christian minister, Muslim minister, a rapping ventriloquist, a karate promoter, former lawyer, former retired police officer, a former gang leader, and a college student. My job? To take this cornucopia of men, weave this intricate fabric, and show the commonality of how they became men from their terrible fall. I say this to you. Manhood is not your birthright. Manhood is a privilege of corrected consciousness. You were born a male, but you're a man by choice. Manhood is a privilege of corrected consciousness. It bears repeating. You are male by birth, but a man by choice.